The biggest takeaway for me in this entire series is just how much love can be a salvation. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Wonder of Anime YouTube channel. My name is Lisa and today, if you know me, you know that this is the story that I was going to get into because, I mean, it has Lisa written all over it. And that is the animation that was just released this past weekend called Mignon. If you're new here, <laughs> just welcome. This is, <laughs> this is the, the best video to get you started. I am a newer fan into Korean webtoons and Korean am animation, but I have been a self-proclaimed Fujoshi for about two, almost three years at this point after making a discovery and it has been amazing. <laughs> and Min Young, for those who are also self-proclaimed Fujoshis, has been on our radar probably for the same amount of time, two or three years, when a teaser trailer had been released. And I discovered the teaser trailer, I want to say a little bit over a year ago, almost two, when I had discovered hyperventilation. And if you are a follower of all things The Wonder of Anime, you already know that I have a review of Hyperventilation on my website when the Webtoon physical copy was released. I discovered the, the trailer for Mignong a year, a year and a half ago, and immediately I was hooked and was like, when is this animation coming out? Because I need it in my blood. I need it in my veins. And I, it, there wasn't really any news about it. This is coming directly from a Korean company. So it's not like there is an American, you know, like a Crunchyroll or Funimation being the middleman where this news is coming from. So I saw the trailer, kind of put it aside. And then this past weekend, they released the animation on Vimeo and they released all 12 episodes and I could not have been happier. I immediately made that purchase and I have just transcended into pure joy. <laughs> so I wanted to sit down and record this video. I had kind of been working through my thoughts from when I saw it, which was about Saturday night to today, which is Monday night, and just kind of mulling over what I watched, I watched a bunch of scenes multiple times and now I just need to dump it all because there's so much to get into. A warning, if you are just coming into my channel and you've never watched one of my reviews before, there will be spoilers in the portion where I get into my personal feelings about the series. So just be sure to check out the chapters that are listed in the description because I will clearly know when the spoilers begin. So Mignong is an original animation from ABJ Company. As I mentioned hyperventilation earlier, they are the company that put out that animation as well as they ended up making that into a manhwa. They also have, I believe they are a publishing, a webtoon publishing company in South Korea. The information that I was able to find on them, there wasn't like a specific website that had all this information. So I kind of just pieced it together, but they are a webtoon agency and they have published the physical manwas for, I believe, On or Off, as well as Under the Green Light and the sequel to On or Off, which is Work-Life Balance. Now, as they are a Webtoon agency company, they also have released some promotional video animations for Under the Green Light as well as Work-Life Balance. And they probably have had others, but something that I noticed from their YouTube channel is that they've had videos and then those videos aren't there anymore. So they may just be posting them for limited time and removing them. But that's just my assumption based on, I've seen videos on there and now the videos aren't there anymore. So about Minyang, I'm gonna read the synopsis straight from their YouTube video as well as what is listed on the official Vimeo page. After losing his parents at a young age, Minyang lives as a mechanic by day and a cage fighter by night at an illegal arena. Living a life of exploitation and violence, the only person who gives him any attention is Oh Young One, a doctor at the illegal arena. I'll do anything for you, I can help. Despite knowing Young Won's true identity, Min Young's pure and blind love for him causes Young Won to. 
Min Yang's pure and blind love for him causes Young Won to start slowly opening his heart. But the hellish reality that surrounds Min Yang starts to shake up even Young Won's life. I'm someone that when I record reviews or want to talk about a certain series, whether I'm writing about it on my blog or on my YouTube channel, there's always a deeper meaning to me wanting to get my thoughts out other than just hearing myself talk. Because while I do love that, I also believe in putting things out that are well-intentioned and, you know, I can defend the reason of myself putting this out. I specifically wanted to record a review on Minyoung because it is so much more than it looks on the surface. And trust me, I am someone who immediately from the promotional video two years ago was hooked. And I have seen the official promotional videos put out with the company and, you know, now the TikToks and the screenshots are floating around Twitter, Instagram and you know all the social media platforms and trust me they look amazing but one thing that i noticed is that there is a big emphasis on the rated r steamy portion of the series and don't get me wrong i'm gonna say it up front because we are grown here that part is amazing absolutely amazing chef's kiss 10 out of 10 no notes and in relevance to the story it absolutely makes sense i am someone i've mentioned this before on my blog previous youtube videos as well as everywhere everywhere the wonder of anime is i've mentioned before that i truly think that having sex scenes in media are important because they tell the story and i know that a lot of times you know, in certain things, they can just be, oh, they're more smut than plot. Or, you know, it's just smut and then a little, little, little bit of plot. But in the case of Min Young, it's so funny and well done how they did this series where that part is literally the last episode and that's it. It is its own not that the videos aren't their own separate things, but it is really the end of the series. So to me, it's done in a way where you can watch the first 11 episodes and completely skip the ending and you still get the complete story. I truly believe that the last episode is beautiful. It is a really good part of the story, but the way that it, it's kind of been emphasized on social media and kind of the clips that have been used in the promo trailer, you may be under the impression that the series has more of those scenes than it does. And it doesn't, but in my case, I I love that. And I think it's kind of like a bait and switch where if you're someone who likes those scenes, watches things specifically for those scenes, listen, there's nothing wrong with that. We are grown here. We all have media where, you know, we seek those things out. But I think Min Yang is such a beautiful story that I love that it kind of baits you in like that. And then you don't get that until the very end. But I just kind of wanted to start off the top with that because that is what I'm seeing the most promotion the most clips on you know the tiktoks and all of that and i wanted to get this review out because while well, yes that part is beautiful and it just adds another layer to the story it is just one layer of how beautiful this story is so i in saying all that let's get into my other feelings about minyoung even though i had seen like i said the trailer for the series a couple years ago I really went in with zero expectations on what the actual story was because the trailers that were released a couple years ago, I just kind of got the gist that there was a vampire, the one guy be boxing, and that's all that we know. Once I went on the official Vimeo link, I saw that there were 12 episodes. The first three episodes are free and then the rest of the episodes are $1. And then you can also buy the first three episodes. I bought them all because if there's something that I learned in this digital age is that owning things is so, so important because sometimes they will no longer be available. So I immediately purchased it and have zero regrets because I said I fell in love with this story and I think it's really good. The animation was absolutely amazing and I 
as someone who has seen hyperventilation which was animated by the same company and written by the same author you can just tell the improvements the growth that the animation has done and it is absolutely like you just like damn y'all put that work in and i'm so proud of y'all because it looked absolutely amazing the music as well was such a like such a good touch it had like this 80s vibe synth music that just fit the themes so well the, you know the rough illegal boxing scene it had its high moments and then it just accompanies the score so beautifully the colors were some of the biggest things that I just noticed because they are so vibrant compared to the dullness of the reality of the situation that we're in. So you see like the bright neon lights when they go into the place where the illegal boxing takes place, but then the actual ring itself is just illuminated by one bright light and it's like all this darkness with these really seedy characters. And then you have some scenes at night where the doctor is running to try to find Ming Yang and you see all these red and neon nightlife signs. And it was such like, I feel like there's an individual story being told with the lights and just the background and the backdrops that they had in the story that it took a couple of watches for me to fully grasp everything that was taking place in the scenes. Like I said, one of the biggest things in the promotion for this series is that this is a vampire love story. But when I tell you that that part to me was just so forgettable, and that is honestly the best, like one of the best parts for me. Although I keep saying that everything is the best part because it's everything is just so good. Ming Yang manages to bring this vampire element of the story, but it kind of makes it also to like an afterthought. When Ming Yang finds out about the doctor being a vampire, he is of course taken back. I mean, like who would it be? You just see a man drinking blood straight from like a blood baggie. Like that is very alarming. But afterwards, he uses that as a motivation to win his fights when he's boxing because he figures that if he's winning, he's knocking these dudes out. The doctor then gets more blood and then the doctor has a supply of blood that he can use. He also offers the doctor his own blood. And we have a scene where the doctor, you know, unknown to Mignon, because Mignon kind of didn't know what was going on behind the scenes, uh, the doctor had to pay a hundred bag penalty because Mignon found out that he's a vampire. And while he's thirsting for blood, he can't drink anything. Mignon's like, I see that you're not well. You're going to drink my blood right now. And that is a really like nice and steamy moment. But it kind of is, is just that. Like it's not brought up again. At the end, when Mignon is turned, it was never a discussion of Mignon wanting to be a vampire to be with the doctor forever. Which, not saying that he wouldn't, because it's obvious this man would do whatever for this doctor. Like, he, that's his man. He's going to do whatever he wants. But at this point in the story, like, it wasn't about Mignon trying to be a vampire to be with the doctor. Mignon just wanted to be with the doctor. The doctor turned Mignon into a vampire to save his life after it kind of was already decided that they wanted to be together. Minyang really was dying and the doctor had to turn him in order to save his life. It, he didn't turn him to be with him forever. The way that Minyang was turned into a vampire has to be the most beautiful scene that I have seen in such a long time. Because in this episode, you kind of have two emotional high points. First, we start off with the doctor frantically trying to find Ming Yang after having basically like cussed him out in the last episode, telling him he never cared about him, that it was all lies, get away. You know, everything he said that wasn't an effort to chase Ming Yang away and save his life. And then afterwards, him immediately, you know, regretting this, the master is going to take care of the gangsters and the doctor is then chasing Min Yang. So episode 10 starts and the doctor is chasing Min Yang. He finally finds Min Yang in the club where the illegal boxing takes place. 
after having felt defeated that he couldn't find him, Min Yang's like huddled in a corner because he has a serious head injury. And the doctor just breaks down and tells him, you're the only one for me. I want to be with you. Everything that I said earlier was just lies. He then, you know, takes him back to his place where Min Yang basically dies or is on the brink of death. And then you have Min Yang having his own kind of come to the light moment where he is just thinking back on his life and how hard it's been and how he wished he had met the doctor sooner because of this feeling that he had and he wanted to feel it longer. And then right when it looks like it's the end lights out for Min Young, here comes the doctor fighting him and starting his transformation process. So from start to finish, that entire episode just really gave me chills because it's these two emotional high points and then you have the transformation and like I said the music is just so on point and the way that it was animated to begin with and just kind of like how it takes place where the doctor bites him and he explains bells all of his human blood and the doctor is like it's like a sensual moment and then his hair turns and he opens his eyes and they're red now and I that to me is the best part of the series and I am glad it's not in a lot of it is not in the promotional trailer because it just is breathtaking and after having been nine episodes deep so invested into the story it just was the perfect climax to me for the series the biggest takeaway for me in this entire series is just how much love can be a salvation from what we see with Min Yang, his life sucks. It really does suck. He's stuck with this coach who abuses him and forces him to box illegally and let me tell you I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break from my notes here. I wanted to be up the coach. And I'm just like, Min Young, you are so strong. Why are you not fighting this man? And I want to know, like, what is the obligation that he has to this man? But he doesn't have much going on for him except for his looks and his strengths. He looks forward to boxing so that he can spend time with the doctor. And he's introduced into this to this world at 19 at the point of the story is two years later so he's 21 but he meets the doctor at 19 that age is such a coming into adulthood time period for a lot of people of course the doctor is going to have a huge impact on him and the doctor initially is very aloof with Min Yang, but you can see one their chemistry it's undeniable and you can also see that he truly does care about Min Yang. He urges Min Yang at every turn, like, get out of this situation. Stop it with the, like, stop it with the illegal boxing. Get away from this man. You have so much potential and there's more that you can do. After Min Yang discovers his secret, you can tell that the doctor is supposed to take care of Min Yang in a certain way, whether it's to kill him turn him you know get him away from here because he knows the secret and the doctor isn't able to do that hey y'all this is lisa from the future unfortunately i noticed as i'm editing this video that the last couple of minutes my video cuts off but the audio keeps recording as you can tell i'm very passionate about this video i think it's amazing and i think the end audio deserves to be heard so I'm going to have some still images on the screen while I play the audio. I hope you guys understand. At the end, we see the doctor be vulnerable with Min Yang. First, he finds Min Yang and confesses, like I mentioned earlier, and he tells him that he's his one is only, like he only said those mean things, he was lying, he was trying to save Min Yang when he did that. And then at the end, after Min Yang's been turned, you know, he confesses that he is afraid to let Min Yang in because he's been alone for such a long time and everything that he had before just perished. While it seems that Min Yang needs the doctor, they actually both really need each other and they both saved each other's lives in more ways than one. Overall, Min Yang really tugged at my heartstrings and it made me feel so many, so many beautiful things. 
I selfishly wish the story was longer because I have so many unanswered questions. I want to know more about this vampire society. Are there many of them? Is it just the doctor? And I think Master was a vampire too. And now, of course, Mignong. But I also just want to see Mignong and the doctor be happy together, especially because it seems like we know Mignong has suffered and we're alluded to the doctor suffering because he's been alone for so long. So I just, I need them now that they're together. I want to see them live their lives as vampires happily in love. Like I said, I think this length was also perfect for this type of story that's being told. The beginning doesn't matter because it got the characters to where they are. What matters is now what happened to them currently and then how they came together. If you were someone who was initially brought in to the series because of how fine all the characters looked, trust me, I get it. I too was interested because everyone looks fine. But I hope or I'm wondering if you had the same feelings as I did and were just as equally enamored with the series as I am because like I said I am a consumer of grown things and I love and appreciate grown things and I will read and enjoy grown things simply because they are grown things plot be damned but this is one of those stories where I came for the grown stuff but I stayed for the love and for the plot and it was just so beautifully done. And I feel that way about hyperventilation too. So I'm not surprised that Mignong managed to pull that off because that story as well has the sexy moments, but it's so tender and fits so well because of the, the love story that's going on. But Mignong was just absolutely perfect. And I really, really hope that people take away how much of a love story this is and a story about salvation because at the end of the day, it's about Mignong and the doctor saving each other. And I'm so glad that they did. Anyways, that's everything that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this review, please check out my channel. I have so many others. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, do what it is that you need to do. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.